Welcome to the Oculus Rift S setup tutorial. In this video, we'll show you how to set up your brand new Oculus Rift S. Start by taking a look inside the Oculus Rift S box. Each box should contain a headset with a display port and USB 3.0 cable, a mini display port adapter, two AA batteries, two touch controllers, a safety and warranty guide, and a reference guide. Make sure your PC passes the Oculus compatibility tool. Today, we're using a custom-built Falcon Northwest desktop. Next, go to oculus.com setup and click Download Oculus Rift S software. Open the downloaded file to begin the installation process. Select which drive to install the software to. You can install apps and games to separate storage drives if you prefer. If you already have the software installed, open the Oculus application on your PC and go through the new hardware setup. If this is your first time setting up the Oculus software, great! Follow the instructions to begin the hardware setup. If you've previously set up an Oculus Rift, select Devices in the left menu. Click Configure Rift S and then select Full Setup to begin the Rift S setup. Next, select the Rift S headset. First, plug in the USB cable into a compatible 3.0 USB port, then display port into a dedicated graphics card port. For laptops or older graphics cards, Rift S also comes with a mini display port adapter. If you're using Rift S on a laptop, keep your charger plugged in to avoid performance issues. When using a laptop with Rift S, it's important to ensure your laptop is Oculus Ready certified. We're using a certified Falcon Northwest TLX laptop, perfect for Rift S. Now, follow the on-screen instructions to run the Rift S setup. The software will detect whether your cables are plugged in and working properly. If the cables are plugged in but not detected, try another USB 3.0 port, then display port that is connected to your dedicated graphics card. To ensure proper tracking, make sure your Windows 10 installation, USB drivers, and graphics card drivers are all up to date. Click Next, and you'll likely be prompted to update the firmware. Just click Update. Firmware updates may take a few moments. Now it's time to set up your controllers. Put a battery in each controller and follow the on-screen instructions to pair your left controller first. Hold the Menu button and the Y button. Once the light starts blinking and the software pairs the controller, hit Continue and follow the same steps for the right controller, this time holding the Oculus button and B button. At this point, the installation software may run a firmware update on the controllers. Click Update if necessary. Once it's done updating, hit Continue. Before moving forward, please read the health and safety content provided on screen. After you've read and acknowledged the safety information, you're ready to jump into VR. If you're using Windows 10 N, be sure to install the Windows Media Pack and obtain the WMF Windows Media Foundation drivers. If you're stuck, check out the Oculus Support Center for additional troubleshooting. The Oculus Rift S allows you to move freely within the limits of the headset cables. So in this video, we'll show you how to set up a play area where you can safely move around with the headset on. Remember to always wear your touch wrist straps when in VR. When you put on the headset for the first time, you should see what we call Pass-Through Plus. Pass-Through Plus is a new Oculus feature, which allows you to see the outside world while wearing the headset. You'll want to become familiar with Pass-Through Plus, as it's essential to getting oriented in space, calibrating your play area, and setting up Guardian. First, you'll need to determine the center point of your play area. Essentially, choosing which direction is forward. Typically, this is the direction facing your PC. Calibrating your height in VR is easy. Just place one of the controllers gently on the floor. Follow the instructions and then hit Continue. Next, it's time to define your play area and calibrate Guardian. Defining your play area will help Guardian notify you if you start to move outside of it. Point the controller at the ground and use the trigger button on the controller to trace a play area around the center point. Be sure to leave extra space between the play area and your walls, furniture, and other obstructions. 
You can skip this step if you don't want to walk around in VR. Once you hit continue, you'll see the blue guardian boundary tracing your play area. You'll get a warning if you get too close to the edge of this area or leave the play area entirely. Check that this boundary is correctly positioned and clear of any obstructions. If Guardian is not drowned correctly or you want to change the boundary, click the back arrow to restart the Guardian setup. The Oculus Rift S headset is a sophisticated piece of technology. In this video, we'll show you how to wear it properly and care for it. Loosen the headset using the fit wheel on the back. Once you put the headset on, use the same fit wheel to tighten the halo strap until it's snug and comfortable. Next, adjust the Velcro top strap until the headset is sitting comfortably on your face. You can use the depth adjustment button on the bottom right to give your eyes more or less space as needed. You'll know you're wearing the headset correctly when it's resting lightly on your face and the picture is clear. IPD can be adjusted in the Oculus software under Device Settings, titled IPD Adjustment. Proper fit will range between everyone. Take your time to get the comfort and fit just right. It's important that you keep direct sunlight away from the headset. The sun's rays can cause permanent damage to the lenses and the screen inside. Don't place it near a window or anywhere direct sunlight can hit the lens. The Oculus Rift S headset and straps can be cleaned with non-abrasive antibacterial wipes. Be sure not to use alcohol or an abrasive cleaning solution, as they could damage the device. Only use a dry microfiber optical lens cloth when cleaning the headset lenses. You can always refer to the support articles on the app or the Oculus Support Center for more details on device care. One last thing. If you wear glasses, we've got you covered. As long as the width of your frames is less than 142 millimeters and the height is less than 50 millimeters. You may need to adjust the depth adjustment button on the bottom right of the headset to make enough room. The Oculus Rift S offers a wide variety of VR experiences to discover. Here's how to find and download them. In VR, click on the menu button on the left controller. This will open up the menu interface we call Dash. Select Explore to find recommended content or Store to see all of the available games and apps. Once you download something, you can always find it in your library. All of your purchases are linked to your account, so you'll never lose anything, even if you get a new PC. You can also use the Oculus app on your desktop to browse, buy, and download content as well as search the store for experiences based on your interests and preferences. Keep an eye out for exciting sales, new releases, and even updates and discounts on your favorite games. The Oculus app includes powerful tools to further enhance your VR experience. You can customize your VR display by pulling out virtual desktop windows that enable a wide range of utility. Take advantage of Dash to optimize your in-VR experience. To learn more about your Oculus Rift S, you can watch more of this tutorial series or follow the support center link in the reference guide. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in VR.